Angular is a development platform with which we can create web applications that are SPA or single page applications. By convention, Angular uses TypeScript, which is like JavaScript but with types. Angular allows us to develop apps with a component paradigm. A component consists of a template that is a visual part, a class that defines the logic, and a decorator that allows us to configure the metadata of the component. We can also have CSS styles applied to the template. The components are supposed to be reusable parts of your application. Thus, you can create a form in a component and reuse that form in different parts of your app. To show class data in the template, we can use interpolation using double braces. To send a message from the template to the class, we use events. We do this with the parentheses syntax. Components can be given parameters. Thus, we can send data to a component. We can also send content to a component through content projection. Components can also declare events in order to send messages to the parent component. Angular has directives such as ng4 to show the elements of a list to the user, ng if to hide content dynamically, ng class to apply CSS classes dynamically, among others. Angular modules allows us to organize our application into parts. With them, we declare the elements of our module, like its components. We can also import other modules to use whatever they export. Services are classes that we can inject into any other class. We use them to centralize logic that we want to reuse in different places. By default, services are singleton. This allows us to share data between different components. Pipes allows us to transform data from one format to another. For example, to show a date, we can use the date pipe. Angular can manage routes, so our single page application can display content according to what it is in the URL. We can read parameters from the URL and navigate using simple JavaScript functions. There are two types of forms, template-driven forms and reactive forms. The template-driven forms are configured in the HTML template. Reactive forms are configured using JavaScript. Angular comes with tools to perform unit and end-to-end -end testing of your applications. We can work all of this with the Angular CLI, which is a command line tool to create, run, and test applications, and also generate things like components, services, modules, etc. If you want to know more about Angular, consider buying my Angular and Espironet core course. Link in the description of this video. Thank you.